The indictment accuses Madigan of leading for nearly a decade a criminal enterprise. He was once the most powerful politician in the Illinois State Capitol. Now, former House Speaker Mike Madigan faces a 22-count federal indictment plus a demand that he and alleged accomplice forfeit nearly $3 million. Our political editor, Mike Flannery, has more. The grand jury's indictment describes a decade-long criminal conspiracy. They call it the Madigan Enterprise claiming it was built on Mike Madigan's power as Speaker of the House, State Representative, Illinois Democratic Party Chairman, and on his multi-million dollar law practice that cut property taxes for wealthy clients. The charges allege that Madigan used his various elected and professional positions to further the goals of the criminal enterprise. Madigan once told Fox 32 Chicago News his law firm sometimes paid him more than a million dollars a year. The grand jury claims some of Madigan's cash resulted from bribery, racketeering conspiracy, wire fraud, and mail fraud. It also appears investigators secretly recorded some of Madigan's conversations with Danny Solis, a corrupt former alderman who turned federal informant. Solis allegedly told Madigan he had bullied a building owner to hire Madigan's law firm. Quote, I think they understand how this works, you know, the quid pro quo, the quid pro quo, to which Madigan said, OK, very good. Madigan later scolded Solis, telling him not to use quid pro quo, a legal term signifying bribery. That's the core of our evidence in this case. It's the words that are spoken by people. It is the things that show up on documents. There's no better evidence to present to a jury than a defendant's own words in their own voice. Madigan is currently scheduled to be arraigned on March 9th and to enter a plea on the 22-count indictment he now faces. I'm political editor Mike Flannery. Uh, I've been saying for years now that we've got to root out corruption wherever it exists in government. Uh, it's why we've passed and I've signed ethics reforms in the state of Illinois. But anybody who is guilty of uh, corruption or corrupt acts in this state should be held to the fullest extent of the law uh, accountable for their actions. Governor Pritzker condemning Madigan today. He joins a long list of Republican and Democratic state lawmakers who are distancing themselves from the former House Speaker. Natalie Bomke joins us now with uh, what they are saying. Natalie. This may be the darkest day in Illinois government history. Those words coming from House Republican leader Jim Durkin tonight. Illinois GOP Chairman Don Tracy saying in part, Illinois is a diminished state and a laughing stock for the rest of the nation because Mike Madigan cared more about holding on to power than serving the interests of its citizens and because elected Democrats across the state supported him. The man who took Madigan's position is House Speaker Emanuel Chris Welch, called today a new day in Springfield, insinuating there's no more wheeling and dealing under his watch. Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot declined to comment until she learned more about the details of the indictment. Madigan still holds a position as Democratic committeeman for Chicago's 13th Ward. State Democratic Party Chair Representative Robin Kelly and Cook County Board President Tony Preckwinkle asked for him to resign that position today. Don. Natalie, thank you.